guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, in class this week, was trying to break down the classifications for coding. You know how we assign an ICD-10 code for diagnoses? As a professional coder, we code procedures with CPT. For facility coding, we code ICD-10 PCS. And then for supplies, we code HICPICS. In breaking this down for the student, I can actually remember, I've been in coding so long, that I can remember when, physician, when um, patients would get one bill. Think about it. You go in the hospital, you got one bill from the hospital. And when the hospital, after they billed you and billed your insurance company, when they received their check, they paid the physician, the nurses, dietary, housekeeping, lab, radiology, all of the ancillary services, all of the parties involved in that patient's care came out of that check. But what happens with money? People always want more and more and more, right? And so I think about that when it comes to health care. That one check trying to satisfy the doctor and the staff, everybody's little piece of that one pie got smaller and smaller. Physicians got smart. From that one check, physician says, you know what? Let's capture our codes differently. So that's where CPT comes in. This is so that the physicians get a separate check. They get their check because of our CPT coding. And now the facility gets their check for the same procedure. For example, an appendectomy. I would code the appendectomy for the hospital with PCS procedure codes. But so that the physician gets reimbursed for performing the appendectomy, I'm going to code CPT. So hopefully in our discussion, we were talking about, I was saying how the physician's going to get their check now. The different MDs, professionals, the professional side is going to be captured. They're going to get their own individual check. But also in order to generate whether it's an ICD-10 PCS or a CPT, you got to justify it with the diagnoses. So no matter what, you're going to be using ICD-10-CM for the diagnoses to justify whatever procedure, whether it's professional or facility. Just wanted to come and drop that little tidbit for you to think about. That's what we discussed in class this week. I'm in the process of putting together my August class. I'm going to spend this summer revamping, updating all of my classes toward the 2025 guidelines. So I won't be doing a class this summer, but we will start in August. So if you're looking for a medical coding program, a program that's going to stop and really discuss healthcare, not just throw a bunch of stuff at you, but have discussions in class about different topics that you're covering that week, consider Codemaster Coach. Email me at codemastercoach, all one word, codemastercoach at gmail.com if you're interested in a medical coding program. Let's take this journey together. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.